Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Linux command line tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn how we can use sudo command in Linux. So first of all, uh, what is a sudo command? You can say sudo is uh, the command which rules them all. The abbreviation or full form of sudo is uh, super user do. So it allows you to uh, some extra privileges as an administrator or a power user. So let's see how we can use uh, sudo in uh, Linux. Now first of all I'm going to open the terminal and right now we are in our uh, home folder right by default. Now for example uh, I will first of all uh, list out uh, all the directory which are in the root uh, directory so we will just do ls and then this forward slash now for example I want to make a directory inside this etc folder so what I'm going to do is I will just do uh, cd etc and here I want to create some directory for example so this etc uh, directory contains some of the configuration files and other files you can see and let's say I want to create a directory uh, for me for some uh, purpose right so I will just use mkdir which we have already seen that this is the command and for example I will say new dir for new directory okay and I will press enter and now this gives me this error that mkdir creates a directory new dir which doesn't have permission so it's showing the permission denied error this is because uh, for example on my ubuntu linux operating system by default when i open the terminal it doesn't have the administrative or root privileges so we need to use a special command which is called sudo in order to uh, tell this Linux terminal that we want to execute this command as an administrator, right? So let's see how we can use it. So whenever you see permission denied, most cases uh, of permission denied can be solved by this sudo command because uh, sudo allows us to uh, run any command or most of the command using uh, administrative privilege or super user privilege okay so let's see we will just give the same command but this time we will just add a sudo in front of uh, this command right so sudo mkdir new directory which is the name of the directory and what this command does is first of all when I enter press enter it's going to ask me the password for my computer it's the same password which you provide at the time of login right so I'm going to provide my password and this password will not be shown uh, on the terminal it will be hidden but you just need to type your password and then press enter and you can see here this uh, sudo uh, this mkdir command is executed with sudo or super user privileges and you, because you have already provided the password once now you don't need to provide the password in the same session in the terminal right so uh, let's see if uh, this uh, directory is created or not this time we didn't see any uh, permission denied error and most probably it will create this uh, new dir directory so let's see uh, if it's created or not so let's uh, search for uh, new dir and hopefully we will be able to find this uh, directory this is here so you can see this uh, new directory is created so super user command allows you to execute some command which uh, with the super user privileges right now uh, whenever we will uh, you know learn how to install uh, some uh, 
third party software something like gcc or g++ or any other uh, libraries which we may require uh, to uh, perform some tasks most probably it will ask you for uh, this super user privileges for example uh, there are some command in um, Linux most of the time in, in Debian operating systems that uh, you can give apt get install command so apt get install and the name of the software which we want to install for example you want to install GCC you will just give GCC or for example uh, G++ or any other uh, software for example but this uh, apt get install command uh, you know ask you most of the time whenever you are installing some software this super user privileges so you just need to add sudo in front of it and then give your password so that uh, this uh, software or library can be installed uh, on your system right so sudo is for giving the administrative privileges right now uh, for example uh, I will open the next terminal you whenever you press uh, control shift T it's going to open the new terminal as a second tab so I have the first tab and second tab so control shift T will open the next tab now whenever I will give uh, sudo minus s and then press enter and I will give the password here once again which will not be shown by the way on the terminal and press enter you can see earlier I was having the user privileges uh, which is uh, the name of my PC but now I have the root privileges so it changes to the root user and then you can see the asterisk here right this uh, not asterisk but this hash symbol here which means you are now uh, uh, in super user mode so you can easily uh, you know uh, do anything uh, as a super user okay so whenever you will give sudo minus s you will uh, go into the super user mode or automatically and that now you can execute uh, any command using a super user uh, as yourself right now this is the small introduction for sudo sudo has many capabilities which we are going to learn slowly when we uh, learn more about uh, linux uh, and more commands and then we will see uh, slowly how it can be used in more efficient way so this was just a brief introduction how you can use sudo so i hope you've enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for